welcome to today's video. I'm Gary Wuriawan and today I'm here in a coffee shop near the Merapi Volcano right here in Yogyakarta and I thought I want to squeeze a little bit of photography time today as part of my everyday photography challenge. So yeah, I'm going to try to explain the behind the scene of how I take some pictures right now on a POV style vlog today. So this is part of my everyday photography challenge. As I mentioned earlier, you can watch the other vlogs of my everyday photography challenge right here up here. I, I will put a card above right there. So now let's quickly talk about gear. In terms of camera gear, I'm using the Panasonic GX85 camera right here today as my main camera. I also use the Panasonic 14 to 140mm super zoom lens as my main lens today. However, I also brought some other lens with me today including the Lawa 7.5mm that I want to try to use today. Hopefully, I'll get some chance to use this particular lens. Alright, so with all of that gear in mind and I also want to quickly mention about my vlogging camera that's recording this video right now this is the DJI pocket 2 uh, little video camera all right so now let's try to find some compositions and take some pictures I want to try to photograph this chair and table right here with this uh, nice looking lamp right here with the volcano and the paddy field as sort of a background so 14 millimeter aperture priority f5.6 let's go all right one more time I think it looks nice I like it. Let's try horizontal composition as well. I think it's nice. Alright, this is just 14 millimeter f5.6. Nothing too special. Alright. Alright, I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but right there, there are some mini mountain near the main volcano on the left side of the uh, uh, image right here. That is uh, probably uh, Mount Plawangan or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but we're going to try to take a photograph of that particular little mountain right there. Alright, something like this. I'm at about 100 millimeter something like this all right i hope you can see what i'm doing in the camera a little bit of the buildings all right i'm hoping for a motorcycle to pass by but i don't think it's going to happen so let's try one more time but this time vertical composition i want to try to include some of the paddy field i think it's gonna look nice all right all right so i'm crouching quite low right here i'm going to try to photograph just this bunch of yellow flowers right here with the paddy field as sort of a background of uh, to make it more interesting with a little bit of the trees on the background i'm at about 25 millimeter let's try something like this maybe looks nice i'm zooming out a little bit to about 20 millimeter hope you can see what i'm doing in the camera i'm going to raise the vlog camera just a little bit okay looks nice all right how about we try that little uh, mountain again from this perspective ah, it's not working out that great I want to try to isolate on just one of the flowers right here hope you can see it I'm going to try to isolate the flower okay maybe horizontal composition this is about 100 millimeter I'm going to raise the camera so you can see Right, something like this. This is about 100 millimeter f5.6. Looks nice. I'm zooming out just a little bit. I'm going to try to include some interesting elements in the uh, background, maybe something like this. This is about 50 millimeter ish. I want to try to include the sky, a little bit of the paddy field. Something like this. I think it looks really nice. Let's try to zoom in on just one of these flowers, but from above. Okay, let's try maybe something like this. I hope you can see what I'm doing in the camera. Yep, like this. Yeah, focus is difficult, but we're going to try. All right, one more time. All right, I think we got it. Nice. One more time. A macro, macro shot of the flower. Ah, I'm missing focus. It's difficult. Maybe now I'll get it. That was about 70 millimeter. All right. 
All right, so I'm going to photograph again. I found these yellow flowers. I want to try to include them as sort of a foreground. So I'm using uh, these yellow flowers on the front part of the image and then the paddy field as sort of the mid ground and then the volcano and the trees and whatnot behind there as sort of a background. So let's try to do that. Okay, I'm going to try vertical composition first something like this i'm crouching very low to the ground but i'm raising and lowering my camera as needed to adjust how much foreground is in the frame so i want not that much but i still want the flowers to be prominent so something like this i hope you can see what i'm doing in the camera still f 5.6 14 millimeter all right Thing we got it now I want to try horizontal composition so something like this I think it looks quite nice I'm focusing on one of the flowers right here I think it makes for a better uh, focal point in the image I want it to be in focus and I want the background to be slightly blurred making the flowers effectively the subject of the image All right let's try one more time it's very difficult to focus on the flowers because there's a lot of little textures that just looks too smooth and difficult to focus at. All right, we got it. All right, so I'm switching lens to the Lawa 7.5 mm f2. I'm setting this lens to f5.6 and I want to try to get a wide angle picture uh, using this hut right here as sort of a framing device for my image right here so this is what I have in mind I'm trying to frame the paddy field and the volcano and the trees uh, using this hut right here so yeah something like this I'm glad actually that I brought the lava lens let's try to make sure that everything is in focus I'm using the punch in as well as the uh, picking all right something like that Maybe I'm just using the uh, hyperfocal focusing. I think it's easier. I already marked it on the lens right here. All right, 7.5 millimeter f 5.6 aperture priority. Nice. Something like this. I don't really want the lamp. I just want a little bit part of these two pillars on the left and on the right. And I want it something like this. All right. That looks nice. Okay, cool. All right, guys, so after a few minutes of waiting, finally, we were able to see the Merapi volcano. So the cloud that's, that was covering the summit now has uh, parted ways from the volcano. So we we're able to take some clear picture of the volcano. So I'm going to do just that. So for we don't have that much time because I'm quite sure it will be cloudy again. So 14 millimeter wide angle. I'm using this uh, chair and table as sort of a foreground of interest. Again, this was a very similar composition to earlier. Going to take a picture of it. F5.6 auto ISO. All right, so now we don't have that much time. I'm going to just zoom straight away to the volcano. Uh, this was about 35 millimeter. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm zooming in just a little bit more. So this is probably 40 millimeter f5.6 again. Nice. All right. I'm going to do vertical composition. I want to include as much of the paddy field as I can while still making the volcano into a prominent subject in this picture. All right. So I found that there's some a kite right there I want to try to include them but they're too small in the frame so forget about that we're going to try to photograph these flowers again these yellow flowers right here I think they're a nice foreground to include with the Merapi volcano so I'm going to try to focus on them 14 millimeter I don't want that much of the paddy field so I'm going to crouch a little bit and lower the camera I hope you can see what I'm doing Something like this. All right, cool. Wow, it looks really pretty now. Without the clouds, everything looks beautiful. And now, as you can see right there, there are some kids playing kites. So I'm going to try to capture them with the volcano as a background as well. All right, nice. 14 millimeter. Going to be really quick before the kite flies again. All right, I hope you can see the kite. I'm going to zoom in right there. All right, 14 millimeter again. Let's try to do horizontal composition. 
with the flowers right here going to crouch again as I did earlier I'm going to make the flowers into the uh, foreground and the focal point of the image rather than the volcano so I'm zooming to about 18 now let's try nice all right I'm going to raise the camera just a little bit if you can see what I'm doing in the camera Wow really nice really nice really nice I'm going to just focus on the summit of the mountain of the volcano if we can do that I think it is possible now let's try all right one more time really nice I'm going to zoom out a little bit so about 100 or maybe 80 millimeter something like this and that wraps up today's video so that is all for today's video i hope that today's video has been useful inspiring makes you want to go out and try to photograph something i hope that you learn from how i uh, photograph uh, these compositions i hope you learn from my behind the scene the whole process so yeah please comment down below and let me know what do you think of today's video also don't forget to support my channel by liking this video sharing this video subscribing to my channel down below and also support my channel further if you want to by using the affiliate links down below and also to use the super thanks button down below as well thank you and see you on the next video goodbye